Welcome back to this episode of Pops Arcade. Uh, while it may seem like the mini console trend is starting to come to an end, I do believe that there are more possibilities out there of something that really could shake up the market and could really bring the trend back. And today I'm gonna to be discussing five possible options that could do that for us. Now bear in mind, this is a this is a five item list, but it's not a top five list. So this is in no particular order, and I know there are way more consoles out there that could really be something awesome. And uh, believe me, if this video gets any sort of traction, I will be doing that again. Now please remember, I will be making this list with two rules in mind. Number one, realistically speaking, it has to retail at under 150 American dollars, because if it's more than that, you might as well just find the console on eBay and do some collecting on your own. And number two, realistically, it has to be profitable for the company that made it. As much as I would love a Master System Mini, if Sega puts one out tomorrow, they will not make their money back. So let's get to it. First up on the list, we have the Sega Genesis Mini 2. Now you notice the image I'm using over here is a Sega Genesis with a Sega CD included. Uh, you have games like Sonic CD on there, and overall, um, you really wouldn't be able to justify a Sega CD only mini console, but including some of its greatest hits in here would be really cool. Uh, you can even pop in a 32X up top to get some of their games, or better yet, you can put a power base converter on top and get some of the Master System's greatest hits. Uh, frankly, um, I wouldn't mind having a mini console with Fantasy Star, Golvelius, Astro Warrior. I think that could be really cool. Up next, we have a really weird option, something you probably haven't thought about, and it may not sound like it would be profitable, but just hear me on this. Up next, I have the Apple Bandai Pippin Mini. Now, the Apple Bandai Pippin, I think it was something that was done when Steve Jobs was sent away. Um, it, was a, it was a console that came out in 1996 for $599 in 1996 money. I think that's about two grand a day. I'll put the actual amount right here. Um, it is. It was a catastrophic failure. It sold about four, 45,000 units worldwide. It sold so poorly that you could more easily quasi-affordably afford a Japanese version over an American, um, if you're in America, that is, uh, which should tell you just how poorly it sold. So you think, like, why include this? Here's the thing. We're going with the profitability rule. So I feel like for Apple nostalgia's sake, this could sell. And honestly, out of morbid curiosity, I'd probably pick one up myself. And up next, uh, the fact that this hasn't been made a thing yet is mind-boggling to me. But I want a Game Boy Mini. Uh, there's a lot of mini handhelds out there. Nothing like, like a quote-unquote mini console. But there's like a lot of small handhelds out there in the market. Emulation on a handheld uh, for retro games is very good if you know what to buy. And if Nintendo just put out something with a backlit screen that lets you do black and white, green and black, and if they can update the code to where the games could be played in color, uh, well, with accurate colors, not like what they do with the Game Boy Color, Honestly, I think a Game Boy Mini would sell. Like, don't even bother licensing third-party games. Just take all your first-party titles, put them on a Game Boy Mini, and just count your money, Nintendo. What's wrong with you? This next one is kind of cheating because it does technically exist, but hear me out. I want the Atari 2600 Mini. Now, I realize the Atari Flashback is a thing. Frankly, you know, it's composite out only which for most tvs either can't be hooked up or just looks bad if you do hook it up i want something with a smaller form factor with hdmi out and i want atari to be more hands-on with it uh they did license it out to add games um which again it wasn't bad for the flashback but they kind of they did different versions of the flashback there was I think it was like 20 or 30 games on each one. And frankly, I do think it was overpriced. Atari, your games are like, what, four or five kilobits a piece or something like that? You can put the entire library that you already have ownership of onto one console, perhaps work out a licensing deal with Activision because some of the best games were from them. Put it out for like 60 bucks, you could totally make your money back in no time. So, yes, an Atari Mini has already been done numerous times. But I want one that's done right. And last but not least, we have the Nintendo Arcade Mini. 
Now you may be wondering, how can you possibly get a mini arcade for under $150? Now bear in mind, the SNK Mini, which has games on it that for the most part are more power hungry than Nintendo's arcade games, is retailing for $59. And even though there are emulation issues, you have to remember Nintendo has way more resources at their disposal than SNK does. And with a list of games like this, and bear in mind, Nintendo has sole ownership of all of those games, which means they don't have to pay a licensing fee for any of it. And I haven't even heard of a lot of these games, and as someone that loves retro games, as someone that used to love playing arcade, arcade games as a kid, and as someone that is just an enthusiast for video game history, I can't help but think that something like this would be a slam dunk. Nintendo is kind of like Apple in the sense that if you slap that seal of approval on, uh, it's going to make money. So this is far and away out of everything I'm mentioning here today, the thing that I would be most excited for. Not to mention the really cool conversation piece that one of those on your tabletop would have. So that's all for today's list. This is my first list video. Uh, if you have any other suggestions or comments, critiques, whatever, I would love to hear from you in the comments. And this has been the latest episode of Pops Arcade and I'll see you next time.